535 this morning, a call to action at a Hillsborough County Middle School. A mom wants something done about traffic around Farnell Middle to make it safer for kids to walk and bike to school. And she's planning a peaceful protest this morning. It comes after a 13-year-old student was recently hit by a car. Our News Channel 8's Jana Jones joins us now at the school in Hillsborough County. So, Jana, it seems like a dangerous situation out there. Good morning to you, Gail. It is a very scary situation. And fortunately, that little boy who was hit last week, he is expected to be okay. That's the good news this morning. But a mom of another student at this school says the traffic situation here is a disaster waiting to happen. During drop off and pickup at Farnell Middle School, traffic is absolute chaos in this busy West Chase area. Students trying to get to school and many walking through traffic to get there. Parents want to see their school board do more to keep their kids safe. They'd like to see a crossing guard, a sheriff's deputy with lights on, or have a school zone. The mom in charge of the protest this morning says the time to act is right now. And it's that time of day where everyone's trying to get to work, so we're just all very distracted. And I'm just concerned that it's going to take a severe situation to get everyone's attention. And that mom hopes to get more people's attention this morning. She plans to wear red along with other parents. They plan to stand out here around 830 this morning. No one is mad about anything. They just want to raise attention and hopefully get that change. They say that they so desperately need. And after that protest this morning, that mother will go to the school board this afternoon at 3 o'clock to share her concerns with them. And again, she's really hoping to get change to keep all of these students here, including her son, safe. Gail. Well, you know, part of the problem is, is that school is nestled back in a business district, which has grown exponentially over the last several years. So I can see why it's so dangerous for the kids.